Good afternoon guys and welcome to another review. So I've had another delivery from Karen Dunlop from Bohem Crafts on Facebook. I hope you've bead lovers have had a chance to go over and join the group and uh, managed to get some beads. Right with no further ado let's get on with this review. It's only a small one today as I haven't had uh, a big order so here's my box. It's opened, so I don't want to waste time trying to get in it because Karen always packs the boxes really, really well. So, first off, we have a very important checklist. And some patterns, I'll have a look at in a second. My lovely beads. Woohoo! Who doesn't like beads? Well, I suppose who doesn't like beads? The people who don't like beads. And, ooh, my bingo win from last time. And, oh, my bingo tickets for next game. Thanks, Karen. Can't wait for that one. Karen always plays bingo. We have a bit of fun before a sale. And then if you win anything at bingo, it gets sent out with your order. So here's my last bingo win. I won, I can't remember whether it was a line or two lines. I think it was two lines. Let's have a look. And see what we've got in here, shall we? Mm, look at this. The... <gasps> wow, Swarovski. Components from Swarovski. Wow, look at those. Six mil beads. They're like a mint green. Very nice. And I've got two packets. Wow. Something interesting to do with those. So that. What else have we got? <gasps> wow, a nice bag. Feels like 20 gram bag of, well, it could be 10 gram, of seed beads, size 11s. Nice pink colour. And, ooh, some crimp tubes. Always need crimp tubes. Look at them. Wow. And, ooh, some triangle beads. With the holes at the bottoms. And, oh, well, there is a name for these. I can't, uh, not diamond, I can't remember what the name is. They're like a, um, a tile bead, but the holes run down the sides there. Can you see? Nice, like a caramel colour. Nice. Well, a big bag, thanks Karen. And a bag of, um, I think they're called Kiops or, well, yeah, Kiops, I think they're called, or triangle beads. Nice. Nice bingo win. Fab. That doesn't have any bingo win. Um, some seed beads. Oh, thank you, Karen. And some chat crystals, I think. Are they three mil? I think they might be three mil crystals. Nice. Wow, thanks, Karen. Can't wait to play bingo. Last time I played bingo, I won some of these. These bead boards are amazing. Karen carries these. Um, they buy syllabus. And they're a, be they're a beading tray. And this is the mini beading tray. And it does say on ideal for the traveling beader made to fit in your handbag. Oval beading tray, eight and a half inches by five inches. Fair dues, they're, they're nice to go on the table if you're doing a small project. Yeah, I mean, eight and a half inches this way, and five inches this way. They're a nice size, but when you're working on, on your knee, Maybe you may want a little bit bigger. I do know that Karen carries um, quite a few of the different sizes. But yeah, I won this. And it's fab. It's really well made. Wooden at the bottom. It's heavy. As in, you know, not that heavy that you can't carry. You didn't mean it like that. But it's not going to fall off your knee. It's solid. And it's nice and bouncy on the top. That's what we like. And on the side is where I stick 
my needles when they when I'm not using them. Yeah, fantastic! And what a bingo win! This is so expensive. I'm root. Oh. Anyway, that was last bingo one. The time before. Right, let's have a look at what we've got in. Mm, two mil. Bit of bling. <laughs> two mil crystals, them are, guys. Nice silver colour. And I've got permanent. Look at these. I don't think the camera's doing the, this colour much justice at all. Like a salmony, like a salmon colour. Needs a permanent finish. Nice. I think that's a 20 gram bag. Lovely. And some pink salon sea beads. Size 11s. And some white salon sea bead size 11s. It's a big 50 gram bag. Get ready for Christmas. And another 50 gram bag of like a, a greeny turquoisey colour. Lovely. Mm. Sea foam. Like a sea foam colour. Lovely. And another permanent finish. So always pay a bit more for your permanent finish. But if you want permanent finish on your beads, then you do have to pay a bit more. And this is a 20 gram bag as well. Nice. And a hybrid. This is like a bronzy colour. Oh, I can't wait with these. Oh, what to make. And size 6. Sea beads, nice bronze colour. Nice. Got me. Oh yeah. I think these are like drugs in America, called in America, like little three mil rounds. Little three mil round beads. So I've got a nice sea foamy colour. And then we'll go nice with those. Mmm, gonna make with that. Mmm. And some bronzy three mil rounds. It's quite hard to get decent quality three mil rounds, so I should be looking for some projects for these. Lovely. Mm. And some rose petals. Don't know if you've seen these before. I'll open these up so you can have a close look. I mean, beads, sea beads, and round beads are, is what they are, but. You can't really see what these are in the back, can you? So let's have a look. So these are called rose petal beads. Because they're the shape of a little rose petal. And they're like a goldy colour on side. And a like a pinky colour the other side. Let's see if we can find the hole. Got my glasses on, so I'll shut that. So the hole, let me get my needle so you can see. The hole runs through the top. An idea for making little petals for flowers. So I thought I'd order some and have a go, see what I can make. Mmm, so that'd be interesting. And what we got here now, these are new beads, well they're certainly new to me, I don't know if um, you guys have had them before. These are thorn, I think they're called thorn beads. Let me just check on my, I hate to tell you that what they weren't. Prong, sorry, <laughs> thorn, prong beads. So let's have a look at the silver ones, take them out so we can have a look. So they're in shape of a prong. So you know when you're doing, um, I'll have to make one and then you can see. So they sit like a prong. Um, I've got a pattern here. There you go. So 
And if you see these beads here, those ones, that's what these are, prong beads. So they look like your um, bit of bling has been set. But they're a bead, isn't that clever? And I've got a pattern here, so I'll have to make something up, won't I? So you can see. Well, and I've had them in silver, bronze and purple. Mmm, yes. interesting. I may have a go at those to see what I can come up with. If I can come up with something different, who knows? Probably not, but can but try. So that's that. And then I ordered a couple of kits from Karen. Um, so this is my first kit, so let's have a look and see what's inside. So everything that I have... Oh, oh bless me, sorry about that. <laughs> everything that I have in this pack will be able to make me a bracelet. So let's have a look at the kit. Okay. So there's my pattern, and there's my kit. The only thing that you need to add to your kit is thread and a needle. So I've got a nice little heart clasp in my kit. Nice, nice little toggle clasp. I've got the little cabochons, put them there to go in the centre. I've got all the sea beads to go around. So all the sea beads. And then I've got the three hold bar beads. Mm. So I'll be able to make that up guys and um, show you what it looks like made up in these colours. Oh, that's another project to do after I've finished this. So that's one kit. Let's put them away. You don't want to see me putting them away, do you? Let's have a look at this kit. So, what's this one? Let's see what's inside. Again, all you need to add is your needle and thread. There's the pattern. I have a little gold clasp, a little toggle clasp. I have, again, the little capuchon beads. There are these ones here. I have seed beads. And I have the crescent beads, two colours. So I've got like the crystal colour and the sort of sage green colour. And once again, I'll make it up and let you know how I get on. Um, what I'll do is, once I've made the bracelets up, I'll do a review on how I managed with the instructions and how easy it was to read, etc, etc, and let you know how I get on once I've made them up. So, a very quick review today, guys, because I didn't order that much at all. It's lovely to get bees through the post. So, thanks, Karen, for holding a fantastic sale event. Can't wait for next go. I hope I win the bingo again. I shouldn't say that really. I've jinxed myself now anyway, haven't I? Anyway, it'd be nice to win again. Good luck to everybody who takes part. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care now. See you later. Bye. Yeah, I better get my needle and thread ready. And give these a go. You know what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. Mm-hmm.